Hello everyone, welcome to your daily card reading for um, October, this will be for October um, 5th, 6th, and 7th. I don't have internet right now, so um, I have to go out to um, get the, you know, get the internet to um, post the videos. And um, it's been crazy with work right now because I'm doing time and a half actually. So just for um, a couple, just for a week actually. So and then and then I'll go back down to just full time. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull one tree magic card and um, probably five chicken cards. We'll do we'll do a kind of an inside, a outside influence, and then um, a like a overall message card with the chickens. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pull some cards. Renewal. The yew tree. And it says, inner spiritual strength is renewed, bringing peace, certainty, and stability to nourish your soul. A birdie baby. Oki and Quinta. And Chickpea. Wow. And uh, Melba. Lavender. Okay, so, well, this is um, really a renewal of love here, a renewal of, um, of life also, and it is really, expect the unexpected, there's going to be some major twists and turns here coming up. So, um, first of all, this, this top row is kind of the mental mental realm and the bottom row is the physical realm and we start out this is the person we're looking at here and we start out in the mental realm um, birdie baby so that is wonderful um, to see to see this magic um, coming together for us within our own mind this is I've never really thought about it like that but um, you know, birdie baby, traditionally, it's the ace of, of earth. So birdie baby is talking about all the kind of physical circumstances that come together for you and make something happen in the physical world. And this is in the mental position of, of the person we're looking at here. So there is going to be a, a real coming together of, of your own mind. Like the, the your mind is going to from events and um, different things really kind of come to a place of peace and a rebirthing, a renewal again. <clears throat> but um, it's amazing, like the, the way um, sometimes we can, we can get an epiphany in our life from, from things that happen just like really magically um, and, and really set our, our mind in a totally different place. And we have like a healing or a a movement or a, a development that happens in our mind and we have a totally different life um, after that. Uh, kind of reminds me of, like for example, um, I went through, uh, this is just an example, but I went through um, a, a time in my life where I really didn't, didn't trust existence. I, 
you know, the things that were happening, I, it made me, I was, I was afraid of um, life, you know. I mean, it was like I didn't trust that things were going to work out because they kept going so wrong and so bad. And, and then I had a car accident. Like, I should have been dead. I should have, I mean, the, my car was crumpled. And um, it was from a person who drove across the road and hit me head on in uh, in my lane and he was coming the opposite direction he just went from his lane into my lane um, and hit me head on and I don't know if he was drunk uh, he would happen to be a firefighter so we you know he had an in, inside pole with the police and they they never um, tested him but anyway um, and then he tried to blame me for it <laughs> coming coming into my my lane and you know uh, hitting me head on but anyway um, the, the way it happened, you know, my experience in that moment when I was hit by this other car, I knew the whole time that I was okay and that I was safe and that I was protected. And I, I was able to protect myself and, and kind of do the right things with my body and do the right things with my, my um, you know, kind of defensive driving or what, you know, like my ability to m manipulate the car with my body and everything. And, and the whole time it was, a, I kept thinking, I can't believe this is happening to my car. And I knew I was fine. And I, I didn't have a scratch on me. I mean, perfect, you know, and that, that experience is reminds me of birdie baby where all these, these things come together and really make a point and make an impression. And from that moment on, I realized that I was safe, and I regained my faith and my trust in, in existence. And even though um, it showed me that you know somebody tries to kill you, and then they try and blame you, and the whole thing is so ridiculous. I mean, the the, the whole story really embodied the story of what kept happening in my life. But it it really set me straight for this epiphany to understand that I was safe, you know. So this is an example of how events can come together and, and show you how you are are safe and how, or, you know, how your psychology is, um, you know, okay. And it really, I mean, from that moment on, I really understood my kind of, kind of my, my sense of peace of mind, you know, and peace of life, no matter what was happening, and um, and and this could come across in any way, you know. I mean, and because of this love here, I want to say that this is uh, some epith epiphany and renewal in terms of love, because in the physical world, this is about somebody coming into your life. Um, this is somebody who changes you forever. Oh. Hold on, my phone's ringing. Let me stop that. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. But anyway, um, so it, it's interesting because um, actually I, I don't know how this is coming together, but this is another example. Today I had two trees fall, um, and I have no idea. It wasn't a particularly strong rain. It was um, very, um, very light rain and no wind. And for some reason, two trees fell today. I, and I, it was because they were so soft from, from, you know, a good amount of rain. But to have two trees fall within five minutes of each other in two areas of the yard, I'll show the picture. But um, uh, one, one of them almost hit the chicken coop and is right in front of the door to let the chickens in and out. And, um, and the other one fell behind my house that... Um, knocked out the piping that goes to the to the guest house so uh, I don't know I mean it's just so bizarre the that whole thing and um, so I don't know so, something like that and this is like the the strange auspicious things that um, are, are kind of working your mind and you know now now this week the landlords will be here and um, well, you know, there's going to be a lot of things to follow now because of these um, trees falling. So I don't know if there's somehow that this is going to 
um, you know, bring bring kind of information or bring my mind together in some way. But that's the the odd odd sequence of events. Like Birdie Baby is just really bizarre, like almost miraculous timing of things and events. So this Birdie Baby is the person we're looking at here in the mental and it's about just really bizarre things coming together and, and bringing your mind together in a new way, um, allowing you to see things or, or understand things and allowing things to happen for you in your life where your psychology will come together to a new point of understanding or a new point of perspective. And then um, down here in the physical world, we have the, you know, two people really coming together. Um, you know, the, the people who change you forever and make your life completely different. Um, that's the physical world. So this is somebody coming into your life and changing you forever in the physical world. Changing your life forever because this is in the physical world. So... Um, and you know, two of cups. It's it's the love card, the the changing another, and and your whole world will be different. And um, this is this is the physical position. And then um, on the outside influences here with Birdie Baby, we have um, just really bizarre things like <laughs> expect the unexpected, um, the irony. You know, the irony of of the way things happen. So there's some irony coming in, um, just really miraculous irony that is going to come in and influence this. And, um, and Melba is about love coming back, love returning to you. So we have um, the physical world, this love coming in, in your physical world. And then in the mental world, we have this bizarre strange sequence of events that are going to happen that are, you know, the irony involved in it, you know, and just expect the unexpected, and, and it's going to really bring things together um, for you, for a new, a new way to see things, a new way to experience things. And then, um, and then we have for our, our final card um, that just makes a point, uh, the, the final message card is lavender and lavender has to do with shaking things off and um, really starting fresh again you know um, just it, it's a very stable stable earth here and to get our stability we just really have to shake off shake off everything that doesn't belong to us refresh renew relax and really um, you know kind of beautify ourselves, beautify our skin, beautify our face, beautify our, our bodies, you know, really shaking things off and, and making yourself new, making yourself fresh. And um, lavender, you know, again, has to do with relaxation also. So, um, again, the uh, card is renewal, the yew tree. And it says, inner spiritual strength is renewed, bringing peace certainty and stability to nourish your soul and I mean this this reading is just phenomenally like synchronistic with um, itself the the way it the the reading has come together I mean the, the words in this this is stability you know the peace the certainty we have this this new coming together the renewal renewal I mean this is all renewal I, and and then even the way like this mental influence this mental row um, this is talking about uh, you know a, a renewal of, of perspective and things coming in and this magic and then the the amazing nature of it with the irony involved in it you know so this irony is, is really um, just making a miraculous event occur that just changes your mind and, and like brings your mind together in this new form in this new way and um, and then down here this physical world this love and and this love returning I mean it just really the cards really back you you know reiterate what the other one is saying I mean they just really reinforce each other 
and then you know this renewal this that just keeps getting reinforced through throughout all of these cards we have this renewal so um, really exciting and then I, I have to say the synchronicity with this reading in my life right now such a bizarre day I'll take a picture of the, these trees too so everyone can see see the weird synchronistic um, bizarre events that are are taking place here so and um, I hope everyone has great things coming together for them in their life and uh, watch watch for the the bizarre events you know look for the auspicious events that are, are taking place and um, yeah I'm excited for everybody this is such an awesome reading so um, and you know even even if you don't if if you're married and you know you're already in a stable relationship this is really about this renewal you know this or or it could it might not be um, you know a love it could be any two people uh, you know a child or um, a family member or a friend that is so dear to us you know and uh, so this this is really um, a, you know, a reading about some form of love or some person that love, you know, is is the theme here. Um, some person that loves us, that we love, that that really is um, what we're talking about here. Because um, even though this is the mental realm, this is the physical world here. So this is all revolving somehow around around uh, a person that that really. Um, changes us psychologically you know this this psychological stuff and and then there's always that preparation you know all the things like even though it's just trees that have fallen the strange nature of it um it, it will lead to a series of events and then you know there's this other this other um groundwork of of love returning and um you know people people that become influential in your life and and change you so um have fun, everyone. Enjoy, enjoy the renewal in your life. And I will see you again after I get my internet back. Can't wait. <laughs> okay, take care.